What's good, YouTube? Back at it again with another video, and and y'all know I'm coming with bangers after bangers after bangers, like I already told y'all. And this is like my fifth time trying to record this video. So if you are here, thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. Thank y'all for tuning in. Um, today we're gonna do a reaction video. I ain't never did no reaction video, so I thought today I would react to my girl Lois B. You know, I met her not that long ago. Uh, we chopped it up on Instagram. She pretty much do the same thing that I do. She giving people game. She documenting the process, documenting her life. And um, <clears throat> I feel like it'll be a good, a good video to you know show a female's insight. And we just gonna react to her day in the life. We gonna react to what she got going on. We gonna go and support her, shine a light on her. So uh, if you already here, man, make sure you go and like the video. Subscribe to me if you haven't already hit that bell so you never miss a banker. Also, subscribe to Lois B, man. I'm gonna put all her information down below in the description. Uh, let's 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 help let's help my girl get the four four K on them subs. Let's help her get the four K on them subs. And uh, yeah, man, let's get right into the reaction. Let's do it. It's Lois B. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you all are enjoying my content. So this week's vlog will be based off my day-to-day -day life. Hold on. First thing first, do y'all already peep? Y'all already peep she making a bed. Y'all peep that, right? Okay, so it ain't just me. It ain't just me. Like, making a bed plays a big part in the psyche. But, yeah, I'm just, I'm just saying. Working and living on the ship. So I try to start every morning by making up my bed, but it's sometimes... See what I'm saying? This doesn't go as planned because I wake up the last five minutes. So after the morning meeting for OT, I have to go back in my room and make up my bed. All right, so let me explain what she mean by morning meeting. So every every morning you have a meeting um, in the deck department. I'm assuming the same with the engine department. And it basically tells you, um, you know, it's first of all, if you go to this morning meeting, you're just basically showing up for overtime. Most people that show up to these meetings, they're they're doing overtime. Like, you know, if you're an OS, you got sanitary duties. If you're AB, you might have some type of other duties. You know what I'm saying? But it looks like <clears throat> she went to the meeting. She checked in for overtime. The bosun or the chief mate saw that she was there. And then she has a sanitary schedule in which she has to do every morning for OT. Um, and I do not do sano in my work boots. My feet be needing some rest. So sano includes sweeping, mopping, wiping the bulkheads, cleaning the bathrooms, cleaning the lounge areas, the laundry rooms. Each OS have their own deck, which includes O three, O two, and O one. Empty out all the trash. Clean the elevators, inside the elevators. Clean the elevator landings. Clean the stairwells. Sweep, mop. You know, restock on toilet tissue, paper towels. So we just want to make your living area clean. I hate to. Also, like, if you clean up every morning, like, every morning is not super bad. You feel me? Like, every morning, like, you're not going to be having to do a whole bunch of sanitary. If you did your sanitary the day before, it might not be that bad. You know what I'm saying? So if you stay on top of it, it don't look as bad. She do this every every day. It's, it's repetitive. It's, it's a routine for her. So I'm pretty sure she just doing the, the sweeping and the mopping and just making sure everything's straight. It's not nothing crazy. So, yeah. I'm thinking for breakfast every morning, which includes a bacon and egg cheese sandwich, potato tots, my side of fruit, and my Kool-Aid. <laughs> and we got straight to work, as always. It was raining overnight, so we had to wire wheel all over again, and then we had to make sure it was all smooth. But okay, so what she mean by that is... So the day before, they chipped, like, they found a, a patch of rust. They chipped the rust. They got the rust off, and then they wire wheeled it. If you don't clear seal it, like, put a protecting coat over it, and it rains the next day. Sometimes it don't even got to rain. The next day, if you don't put a clear coat on it, you can see at the bottom, like, right here. See where my mouse at right there? You can tell she had already chipped, but it wasn't clear sealed. So it just rusted back over. So basically all she got to do is just rewire wheel that and just put a clear coat over it. That's all. Paint. Y'all see me getting ready. What am I missing? 
I got my safety glasses on. I got my headphones. I got my ear protection. I got my mask. Exactly, my arms. Because when you wear a woman and those little wires spring off, it hurts so bad, y'all. It feel like somebody is popping you with a rubber band. Or if you got ever... That's facts. That's facts. That's that's facts. If you're a wire wheeler and you don't have a long sleeve, any type of long sleeve, and one of them wires pop off, which they do all the time and they hit you, that shit hurts. And I mean, like, it hurts, hurts. Whipping, you know what it feel like. But it hurts bad. So, put my arms back on my jaw it is so hot y'all it looked like it's cold but it was about 95 degrees like it was a burning up hot like hot like dry like ooh. so here i'm just cleaning up my area because it's break time and we clean up after breaks now <clears throat> on most ships before you go on break they do make you clean up like you get an air wand and just you know air wand your area clean up um it's just it's just good practice to clean up your area before you go in for break. Like, you know, wrap up your hose, put your stuff up because on your break it might start raining and you might not be able to go back out there. Like, just clean up your area after you finish working. It's just good practice. You feel me? If we have a union meeting, we can clean up our work areas. It's always best to clean your work area because you're not the only person on the ship. You're not the only one walking around and got things to do, and you don't want nobody trip slip or fall and it's all on you they try to blame it on you nope not i said the cat not today <laughs> so i'm just cleaning up my little area random drug test today so i got water so every time i can never use back i don't know what i know it's not a nervous thing because you know i don't do anything but I can never use the bathroom. Bruh, go on my older videos and y'all can see you get random drug tests out there and you never know when they're going to come. It's not as often as you may think, but they do happen, man. So you stay on your P's and Q's. And that's Taco Tuesday. Like, I just put rice, beans, cheese, and sour cream. No. Okay. <laughs> Look, and this is just rule of thumb word of advice for people that are new to the shipping industry. If you don't know if you get seasick or not, bring Dramamine game. Because I promise you, you don't want to go out there getting seasick and you ain't got no Dramamine. Like, that shit is crippling. Like, it's hard to do anything when you're seasick. I promise you. Because I get seasick, so... Let you know. Welcome back to my channel. It's well speed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So today's video is going to be a day in the life of a merchant man. So stay tuned. I'm gonna find me a seat and I'm gonna find me some shade. I'm waiting for the engineers to give us the green light to turn the wish controls on. We're just getting the lines ready so we can put them up. So these are the headlines to keep the ship from springing away from the dock. And these are the bow breast lines which keep the ship from going to port and starboard left to right. And then this is the brow spring line keep the ship from going forward and aft. Now, see, you learn a lot of this stuff. Like, I, I learned a lot of this stuff in school, what a bow line is, what a spring line is, forward, aft. Like, I learned a lot of that in school. Um, I don't know what school she went to. I don't know, you know, maybe she learned it when she was out there. But this is the type of stuff you need to know because, like, there's been situations where the boatswain's like, hey, go get, go to the, the bow and get X, Y, and Z or go to the paint locker or go to this locker on the starboard side forward up the blah 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 like you just gotta know the terminology game that's that's all nothing crazy though and this is the anaconda <laughs> it is so heavy y'all like this
So we all broke off from groups. Jerome was my partner. That's my dog. It's either Jerome or mine. <laughs> but he always helped me with the paint because I always forget. I'm a share to I'm a coat. It's always a four to one ratio. But here I only needed a little bit, so I wanted to make sure I was doing it right. It's okay to ask questions. I hate a sea lawyer that think they know everything. You don't know it all. Facts. You never know it all. Ask questions. There have been many a times where, like she said, four to one ratio and I put three to one and now the shit don't want to draw. So don't ever be prideful. Ask if you don't know. There's never a dumb question. Now, there'll be people when you ask them questions, they'll look at you stupid. Forget them. It don't matter. You don't want to go out there and paint an entire deck and it don't dry. I'm telling you, I done seen it. And you don't want to have to go wipe all that shit up and have to repaint it. I promise you. If you don't know, ask. But yeah, I got to mix in. Maybe you don't know. Oh, girl. Hold on. Not trying to get copyrighted. Anyways, I think she's painting. And I think she, like, I think it rained right after they painted, if I'm not mistaken. Painting, getting the barn door all fixed up. It's gonna look real nice. Y'all. Yeah. Bro, you scared me. Close the door. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, it is super weird recording on the ship because everybody just, mm, even when I record in the airport, like, people look at you like you're crazy. Or like, what you doing? What you talking to the camera for? So, like, I understand, I swear, I understand. I know you don't watch this video, I understand. I'm the same way. You see ain't nobody around me, see why I'm recording that in my room, so I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, y'all. I'm gonna mute this because I don't know. I don't know if it's copyright. You know, I don't want to get copyrighted. But y'all can pretty much, uh, y'all can pretty much see what she's doing. Like, I'm not gonna lie, gang. I don't. I don't even know what she's doing. It looks like she's covering up that, that, that crack area, like putting something down. I ain't never did that before. It looks pretty interesting. Hold on, y'all. Turn it back up. Hold on, she talking. And I'm so excited. I've been consistently going on YouTube since December of last year. And this is a big accomplishment for me because when I say God's timing is divine, the right people will really find you. I also got featured on this Instagram page for the Women Merchant Mariners. It's called Women. All my, all my ladies, check out the Instagram page. You see more women doing it. So when a lot of people ask me, well, do you work with a lot of females? There's a lot of females out there. Go to that Instagram page. You'll see a lot of females doing it. Sure, so y'all got to go check it out. I'm going to leave the, um, the page in the description below. I did it just for like an honor, like oh my goodness, like I'm being noticed, like and I don't be doing it just to be doing it. It's like I just want to help you, but I also really love my job. Like ain't nobody else doing this, ain't nobody on what I'm on, like at all. <laughs> Facts, it's not many people doing it in Atlanta. Like I don't know nobody doing it. So when I even met her, when I seen her on Instagram, it was so surprising. I was so so shocked. Like I reached out to her immediately and like. It's crazy because she already knew who I was, you know, and she told me she had been watching my videos, so I kind of like felt a little special, but like, I'm finna show her hella love, you know what I'm saying? And I want y'all to show her love, you know, so, yeah. When I wanted to search how to be a merchant man, I mean, I've been doing a lot because my family members are with me, but when I wanted to um, search to see if any women were doing it, most of the women was with SIU and Gabby Department. That's what was the route I wanted to go. I seen a lot of men on YouTube, so I'm like, you know what? I don't do this at all. Like, a lot of people, well, a lot of guys who do it through in the industry, of course, they do it on the other side, on the deck side, the majority be on deck side. Um, so, yeah, I'm like, let me help people out. And a lot of people are reaching out to me, and I'm always here to answer y'all questions. I'm never gonna act funny. The same reason she started YouTube was the same reason I started. When I started YouTube in 20... 
16 started recording on ships i didn't see nobody doing it yet. nobody i seen a captain doing it i seen a captain doing it but i didn't see nobody showing how much you make what the job entails i went into this shit blind you know what I'm saying? They don't tell you you're going to be gone for long periods of time. They don't tell you, you know, shit get lonely out there. Like, it's good for people to see what's going on. So, like, I respect this. I respect that. Like, I respect people trying to put other people on. Like, that's what I'm on. The more people you bless, the more blessings you receive. You feel me? So, and we not being stingy. We not gatekeeping with this. Like, this shit's life changing. Truly. Sometimes you need to get out of your environment, you need to get out of your space, you need to get out of your comfort zone, you need to do something different. And it's not many jobs that's going to hire a felon. There's not many jobs to where you can travel the world for free. There's not many jobs to where you can come home after five or six months and be sitting on 40, 50, 60,000 in a bank. It's just not many. So. Suffocating. Like, I had to leave. Like, no, this is not. <laughs> I don't live in the hood, but my environment is, you know, such a mentality. Like, I'm so used to it, and it's like, you know, I gotta be around certain type of people. I'm still in school. I'm always real school. <laughs> plan B, you gotta keep your plan B, just in case, you know? You never know. So we out here painting the barn door. Hold on. Peep, peep the head scarf. I promise you, when you get out here, you don't want shit in your hair. I, I promise you, I done got stuff in my hair. And it's, it's hard to get out paint, rust, you name it. You can get anything in your hair. So you always want to cover it up. You see she got it on. You see how I got it on. I'm telling you. Y'all, P game. We've been at this project for like three weeks now. Her. I'm gonna hit her up and ask her. Is your music is, is your is your music and your vlogs copyright free? But it looks like she's painting this pipe, you know. And when you get out there, it's a lot of painting and chipping and wire willing. You're gonna be doing all that type shit. So, you know. But yeah, uh, make sure y'all go check out her Instagram, TikTok. And YouTube channel, as y'all can see right here and below. Her YouTube channel will be in the description below. Y'all show her a lot of love and tell her that your boy sent you. If y'all like these type of videos and y'all want me to do more, let me know. And I got y'all, fam. I got y'all, I got y'all, I got y'all. Please like this video, subscribe, and subscribe to my girl if you haven't already. And I will see y'all in the next one.